Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and surprisingly curtains worked really well so we slept like a baby last night so uh, we're all raring to go so we've got loads of jobs on today I've got to clean a load of the fishes so we've got to do in-depth cleaning today so uh, I'll try and do some siphoning the main job is cleaning the algae off some of the tanks so we've got to do that today we've got to go around, we've got to try and um, do some more handling do some more feeding um, and then I think we've got some more holiday animals coming um, and we're just going to go around and, and do some uh, more training one of the main things today so uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me and I shall see you in a bit first thing we need to do today well I've got to go and turn the lights on that would probably help we need to check on our chameleon so he's in his new enclosure well same enclosure, new spot we've slightly done it up so he seems to be having a crawl around and doing stuff so how you doing buddy? He's having to climb around. Mm, so he's doing well. So we need to try and get him to have some bugs. Normally he's been having the Mario worms because he doesn't really like the locusts. So uh, we're going to try and get him. He hasn't been eating. I've never seen him strike for anything. All I do is I put his worms in the bowl and then eventually they slowly disappear. He seems to be quite happy sat there in his basking spot, but we, he hasn't been there with customers in the shop yet. So, uh, as soon as we get customers in the shop, we can see how he reacts. If he, has a, if he starts having a paddy or stuff like that, we'll have to move him back in the back room, or find a way of making a bit more uh, hide away up there, sort of thing. The thing I want to do today, I want to show you our new tanks. So these are great if we've got little praying mantises. So we're going to get a couple eight, we're going to show you what they look like and what you can do with a multiple of them. Here they are, lovely little tiny terrarium tanks. Ignore what is on the boxes, okay? You cannot keep fish in these tanks. In theory, you could keep a baby Pac-Man frog in there for a tiny bit. You could not keep an adult. You may be a good chance of keeping a little one, but that's about it. So I'm going to get these out and then uh, show you what they're like. There we go, you've got the black and you've got the white. So they're really, really nice tanks. They're good for small spiders. Uh, they're really good for praying mantises. You could have your praying mantis in here for his whole life and he'd be completely happy. So they're fully sealed all the way around. The only access is through the top. And the top completely removes as well for doing decor. So the only thing you'd have to watch is if you've got a baby mantis, fruit flies will come out of these they're not quite fine enough so same with the white one all works exactly the same and what you can do if you've got two of them da, 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 they stack and they actually lock in so if you look little groove locks in so that now is on there pretty really nice and tight so nothing can happen and there's a gap so the airflow can get in and oxygenate the tank below so I think they're really really good I do I think they're nice little tanks and they're nice and cheap as well 15.99 you can't moan at that for a tank like that that is really really good you couldn't make you couldn't buy the glass and make it for that so uh, we'll put them oh, I'll put it back properly with two hands I don't want to break it we've done one with one hand we've done one so I think they're really good cracking it once I believe I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine I've got nine of them also add some new tools brand new toolbox look at that looking snazzy what are you doing what are you doing in my toolbox what are you doing in my toolbox hey sir what are you doing in my toolbox you need baths you definitely need baths it was a joke. It's a uh, bearded dragon who's here on holiday. What is wrong with you, mate? You don't look happy at all. So we need to do a lot of work with this one. He's uh, got loads and loads and loads of stuck shed. So you need a bath, sir. Where are you? Come here. Hello, mate. Hello. Oh! Oh, I'm in the boat. Oh! You don't like me? 
You can try and bite me on the nose. Oh, I don't know. So, if you look, he's got stuck shed on his head and stuff like that, and on his tail. So we give him a bath. So he's staying with me for a little bit today, and then my mum's going to come and collect him because he's going to my house. Um, yeah, or she's going to watch the shop and I'll take him back. So, uh, but he needs to do some little TLC. So we're going to give him a bath and try and help him out. Okay, so we, the mum's here to either watch the shop or take him, so we haven't got long. So we're going to get the one off the top and then we're going to give him a bath tonight when I get home. Come on, buddy, let's have a good bit of angle. Go. It's a nice big chunk. There we go. So he's still got quite a bit on his head. That needs a bath in, that does. That, all that needs a bath in and soaking to get off. Same with his tail. See, you can see it there. If we come down this edge, all that there is all stuck shed. Coming down that line. come off see what I mean it's really I know it's I know mate I know so that's what I mean it's still stuck on quite a lot so we're gonna take him home he's gonna chill out there for a little bit and then when I get back tonight we'll give him a good bath and get all this off him because that's no good is it mate no good at all no 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 so we'll give him some chin wiggles and then we'll go take him up it's a bit wiggly so my mum mom... Didn't really want to do it, so <laughs> so she said, "You watch, I'll watch the shop. You go, okay." So uh, my mum's little mini. Look at it. Look at it. It's all stripy. My mum's mini. So uh, we're taking back now. We're putting him in, <laughs> in the toolbox. It's so weird. Uh, so we put him in his tank at home, and then we'll be raring to go. Um, safe and sound. So I keep saying it's my house, but it's not anymore. I've moved, in on. So uh, he's at my parents' house, and I've got no keys. <laughs> Cars work better with keys. Made it back to the shop, I've let my mum go off, you know, she's causing too much trouble she was. <laughs> she was cleaning when I came in, you know what she's like. Uh, but we've got a new plant, look at it. We've got another plant, my friend Anne-Marie brought us another plant. She's the one who brought us a big cheese plant. So we've got that one, and that one apparently she's got more she wants to bring us as well, so. I don't know, but what we want to do now, we can do some stuff with the animals. I do need to do some cleaning of the fishes, so I'm going to try and do that between clips and videos. Um, so I want to do, we want to feed the chameleons now. So I'm going to get some food, feed the chameleons, and I want to try and do some handling stuff with them, see how he's getting on, because I haven't had him out in a while. We've got the locusts, all covered in our secret blend of herbs and spices. So calcium and vitamins. <laughs> so we're going to do big male one first. He's down the bottom today. How you doing, sir? So we're going to get, we're going to give him a feed. Now I might get him out for a bit first. See how he's doing, give him a check over, check he's not regressing in any way and his mouth's doing okay and stuff because we haven't had a good check in a bit. So we'll get him out, check him over and then we can give him a feed. Come on, little buddy. 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 Doing really well, are mate, Atlas? So his mouth seems to be doing really well now, isn't it, buddy? His jaws all aligned up, it stopped separating from the skin. Um, and it looks like he's trying to get a little bit of healing done on here. It's the first time I've seen a tiny bit of colour. There's a little bit of pink in there. Well, it's normally all white, so he may be trying to get a bit of his pigment back. But I think he's doing really, really well, ain't you, buddy? He's coloured up nice. How you doing, buddy? He's a good lad, and you mate, and you're a good lad. And yeah. So you go in, what you beat him for? Hey? He's such a good lad. So he's a nosy bee, pamphlet chameleon. And you mate. Yes. So he's from Madagascar, uh, lives in the jungles, and uh, in the trees. He's doing really well, ain't you, buddy? So I'll put him back, see how we get on. He's got his staff of power. 
<laughs> he grabbed onto his stick. He's like, you shall not pass. <laughs> I will smite you with my stick. I shall smite you. <laughs> but he stopped trying to grab stuff. There you go. All the way. There we go. Before he smites us with his stick of power, we best feed him. <laughs> that was funny, that was. Literally, I had it on the edge. It was just I used it for flicking off stuff and picking stuff up that I couldn't get. And uh, he grabbed it and was like, whoa. <laughs> What a happy chappy! So we can give him some more buggos. Let a couple jump out. One, two, three. That'll do. So he's had four today. He'll have some more probably tomorrow as well. Yummy! Okay, so I'm going to crack on, get some tanks cleaned, and then uh, we'll be raring to go. So we'll do that, and we can go around, we can do the training and all the handling and stuff like that. and clean the only thing I have noticed Mr. Alwan has jumped the net again or well, jumped the bar again so we have to open it up chuck him back across there we go I was going to do some handling with the red tail boa I've just remembered it's feeding day tomorrow so uh, we'll leave her to it because I don't want to get him wound up when it's feeding day tomorrow. So we'll leave her for now. Um, what we might do though is we might try and do some handling with the Savannah monitor. So uh, we might try and get her out, see if we can actually do some handling and not her attack us. So I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but that's going to be the idea. Could try and do some target training. So what target training is, is she comes and puts her nose onto a certain item uh, and then to reward her for that she gets a bug. Um, so the idea is that when I put my hands in there without this thing that she's meant to put her nose on she knows there's no food coming in theory. Because when she gets a bit bigger it's going to be harder to do something. I've got a little red ball, so it's literally a screwdriver. But we put that in there, it's a little red ball. So if she puts her nose on that we're going to give her a locust. So uh, it may take some training and some goes at doing it, but I think that's going to be an idea. So uh, let's get some locusts and we're going to try and see if it's going to work at all. She is in the middle of shedding and she is having uh, um, mice tomorrow. So she's not going to have too many today if you want to ruin her appetite for tomorrow. So there we go. We're going to set the camera up. Whoop. Yep, that's the camera. No, but, 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 but. Stay in, please. Please. Thank you. Okay, so wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. Put your nose on it. There you go. So we let her eat that one. And then we do it again. 
So she did try and bite it, but that works as touching it as well. You nearly got it, darling? Stop rubbing it in the sand. Stop it. What are you doing? Stop it. You don't need to rub it in the sand. What are you doing? Come on, come back. Eat that one. Yes, it. Come touch this then. Touch it. There you go then. It's a burglar. You just didn't you want it? You, you've left the locust on the floor. Okay, try again. Touch it for me. Touch it. Okay, locust. Ow, 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 ow. Kind of works, but. Owie. Should really be feeding it with tongs, really, shouldn't I? You got it? Okay. We're going to try and do two more. I think she's getting the idea. Touch it again. Come on, darling, come touch it again. Come on. Can you touch it? You're getting scared? What if I did this? I'm going to... Ah! Kind of convincing her that this means food. She's touched it twice, well I tried to bite it twice. So it's only early days, so... At least she's come and touched it a couple of times. And then uh, she's going to get a reward each time she does it. So this is the last time we're going to do it now. Can you touch it for me? See, look, you get a locust when you come near this. There we go. How's it going, my lovely? Will it come out? So we give you this. Let me touch her under the chin, but she was looking at the rest of my hand. Hello. Don't bite. I'm still shedding. You just you haven't finished shedding and you started shedding again. Is it because we give you so much food? Is that what it is? So she's done really well today. She's touched this a couple of times and had some food off it. So uh, and she keeps coming back. Touch it again. Here we go. You get a bug. So I think we're going to do that multiple times now and she knows that's the food. Go, go back. Go back. You've had enough. You've had enough now. You've got feeding day tomorrow. Feeding day tomorrow. You get some mousey tomorrow. Yes, you do. You get a mousey. Yes, you do. Don't bite me. You get a mousey tomorrow. So we'll leave her to it. She's done really well today. Touching this a couple of times to get her to have the food has worked really well. So uh, we put her back and I only got bit once. So we did really well. We did well, didn't we? Don't, no biteies. Go on, back, back, back. Good girl. And we'll see you in a bit. There we go, there's our first go at target training. Didn't really go 100% to plan. She bit it a couple of times and stuff like that. But it's going to take us a while to actually get her to think, the red ball, it's food. So we keep doing stuff like that. And then hopefully she'll progress and progress and progress. So I've just noticed 
We've had a load of baby shrimps. So I believe there's a mix of the blues and the red wheels. So uh, we'll have a look at them today. And I've also noticed we've had an escapee shrimp. So we ain't just escaped once, he's escaped twice. So this shrimp, the shrimps are all in this one. He's gone. He's in here. I don't know how the hell he's made it all the way over here, but he has, he's in that little crack of the filter. So we've got to get him out of there and put him back into this one. So uh, we'll have to net him, put him back into there, and then we'll try and find our baby shrimp. Because he's a shrimp, we still have to acclimate him, even though these waters are probably going to be the, virtually the same. Come here, shrimpy. Come on, you. Whoa, where the, where did that go? Oh, he's there. Okay, so now he can go, if he stops flicking around, into here. Okay. So then we can take him out of there. Little shrimpy. And then uh, we can put him into the tank he's meant to be in. So we're still going to acclimate him. Just put a little bit of that water in. So now we should be looking for our baby shrimp. <gasps> There's one. Can I leave that for a sec? Yeah, that's floating. Look at him. He's a little tiny shrimp hole. He's only tiny. He's a tiny, tiny, tiny little blue shrimp. He's super duper small, so he's hard to see. So we've got baby blues. Let's see what else we can spot. Right up here, we've got a baby red one next to a big blue one. So we've got some baby reds as well. It's really cool. So we've got dark blues then we've got red reel so red reel are there oh she's preggies look at all the eggs Ooh! look at that pregnant shrimp happy days so we're gonna have even more babies soon that's what we like. That's what we like. Oh, that'd be nice to have our own breeding, breeding population. Oh, there's another baby. No, 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 no. Right next to Mama. That must be a red reel. Or a light blue. So yeah, we're full of babies. Doing really well, everybody's swimming around, so I'm really happy with the shrimp. Give him another little dunk. Wait a couple more minutes, then we can release him. Come on then, little buddy, ram ya. There he is. Out we come. Be free! So that's a female, and we know it's a female because it's a saddle back. Saddle, see it's got that white thing at the back? Just at the back of the first lot of colour, that is the eggs that are unfertilised. So that's how you know it's a female when it's got the little saddle back. And it looks like you could actually ride them. The males have more of a uh, flat back. But I'm really happy with them, we can have loads of babies. Okay then everybody, my friend, that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. If you want to join the tribe, there's a link in the description below when you can become a member of the, the YouTube. Um, it helps, any support really does help out the channel. So click the thumbs up and subscribe for me. And put a little comment in there. Tell me, how, tell me about your animal, see how we get on. Um, or how you're getting on. Uh, if you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.